Part of the fun watching NCAA basketball every spring is seeing that upstart team that shakes up the brackets pushing against all odds to the big dance, unless, of course, that means a financial loss for you or your family. This year, a team from a school a lot of people hadn't heard of is making its mark, and they appear to be loving the journey. Our report from NBC's Kevin Tibbles. In alley They've emerged from the swampland as giant killers. They're going to the Sweet 16. The upstart monster dunkers from Florida Gulf Coast University, taking down fabled second seed Georgetown and seventh seed San Diego State. We're officially on the map. Uh, we're, we're now Dunk City. And yes, all those who've had their brackets blown to smithereens, you can be forgiven if you've never heard of them either. Where in the hell is Florida Gulf Coast at? Well, Charles, FGCU is built on marshland outside Fort Myers, where sometimes alligators can be seen wandering on campus. Now the history books will record the FGCU Eagles as the first number 15 seed to make it to the Sweet 16. So as the hastily printed t-shirts proclaim, now you know. The first team in the history of the NCAA tournament to do that, like, that's ridiculous. Not a bad showing from a school that's only been around since 1997 and whose basketball coach is 43-year-old Andy Enfield, a self-made millionaire who walked away from Wall Street to pursue his own hoop dreams. No one knew what FGCU stood for prior to 72 hours ago. Even the king, LeBron James, gave the Eagles a shout-out on Twitter, although he, too, got the name wrong. And when the team arrived back home before sunup, the bus was mobbed by students. Gone are the days where we have to explain to people what FGCU is, where it is, and what it stands for. Next in line for the high-flying no-namers, their powerful neighbors to the north, the Florida Gators. And that won't be a slam dunk either. Kevin Tibbles, NBC News, Chicago. That's why they call it March Madness. That's